Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the next episode of Indie Wrestling Things with me, Elliot Redding. And me, Stevie Pearson. Today, we thought we would go for something a bit more upmarket in the way of bit, indie sins. A little bit more familiar, not quite indie, but not much more than indie. No. We've yeah. gone for coked up, well, meffed up, I think if I remember rightly, since it's Jeff Hardy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Versus Sting at Victory Road. Where we, we all know this match, but let's, yeah. let's give it a watch anyway, because, well... You it, know. We thought it'd be a bit better than watching something that's got less than 10 people in the crowd. Yeah, yeah. Right, here but we how go. About, how, how many paid members in the crowd for TNA show? Yes. Three, that's... two, one. Okay, it's, it's on. Skinny Borash with Skinny, a full head of hair. Skinny Borash who doesn't look like Mr. Mackey from uh, South Park. See, I didn't realise that he had his own money in TNA. I wonder if he got it out before he left for WWE. I wouldn't have thought and the awful like Enigma belt. At oh, the time. that is ugly as shit. Yeah. Seriously. Damn, Borash is good at this. God, yeah. I don't want to say he wasted his time in TNA because he was always there, but cause he worked backstage. But he's he's gonna be one of the people that's gonna be in wrestling for the rest of his life. He loves it, doesn't he? Yeah. You can tell. Oh, Jeff's already in there. Oh god, I thought it was the interest. Didn't even see him. Oh, he's already... You what does could, he bloody look like? He's flick, flipping him off! <laughs> he looks so smacked! Yeah, he's not quite right here, is he? The awkward thing is that they're doing his intro first, as the champion, I think. Yeah, it was always... Traditionally, it was always challenger first. Yeah. All right, let's have a look. Indie Sins, what have we got? Uh, ugly belt. I think the Indie Sins are just going to come for the match alone, though. I remember him them, this match being talked about like everyone knew that he was smacked off his tits backstage like he turned up late to the show and they just didn't have another option Sting He's, Sting Joe back the bald spot yeah the crow's nest the crusty the clown look oh okay Sting is champion this one I thought, I thought he won it and you look at him he is pissed off like he knows yeah he knows this is bollocks because the only thing I don't know unless someone else out there knows in the comments or if you know um, the fact was this plan? What, did someone say to him backstage? Just fucking roll him up. Uh, the whole thing here is uh, Jeff comes out and he basically says to Earl, I can't go. Yeah. But ba- Baby Earl, Earl, Earl Hebner Jr. He says, I can't go. Um, they do a bit double double check to find out why. Then when Sting comes out, he then tells him. Then obviously Bischoff comes out to stall. I imagine this is all on the fly, yeah. Yeah. Sting, uh, Bischoff comes out to the Quaker's Oats man to stall him. And... Uh, we have this little bit here. See, the thing, I remember at the time thinking, well, hang on. They advertised Sting versus Hardy. Matt Hardy was backstage. Why not just yeah. throw Matt out there and get your good 10 minute little main event or something? Well, Matt also had a drug problem at this point. Oh, there you go. He's talking to him like, you're fucked, mate. Yeah, you're fucked. We're getting this over quick. So they're trying to say, because he's been jumped, taken advantage of, that's why he's not with it. There you go, tell him, just fuck him. Just fuck him over. Roll him up now. Stalling. Really, shake my hand. I want you to know I'm going to be fair. Well, he's fair. Just look. fuck it, yeah. He's fucked up. Don't do it. Just roll him up. He's very fair. Look at that hair. Oh, God, yeah. Bischoff always had great hair, let's he be did. honest. He did, yeah. Did. You know, like, that's the only... Like, great genetics. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you reckon he's always called him Mr. Hogan? He probably has to. <laughs> probably that was probably part of the contract. Like when he signed for WCW, it's like for the, yeah. until the end of time, you cannot call me Hulkster. <laughs> All of my friends call me my first name, brother. Oh, Bishop's down. Storyline-wise, I can't actually figure out why no. he's down. So Jeff's heel here, which he was really at this point for a little bit, yeah, because I I was uh-huh. always more of a TNA fan than WWE, but I kind of gave up when Hogan came in. But I remember I was watching okay. live every week at this point. Yeah, Sting, we go. Sting's looking at this, thinking, "Who wants the t-shirt? What the fuck is going to happen here?" Okay, we're milking the t-shirts. He knows, like he's he's looking at him like I'm fucked. He goes like, "I'm gonna get fucking heart and like rolled up quick here." He knows that he, it's not going to end well. 
Well, I'm guessing the finish was obviously Sting going over. It was supposed to be a full match. But okay. it, this was TNA's thing of knowing that Jeff Hardy had issues. I don't know if it was case if he was supposed to, like, and then he was going to go to fair. He was going to go to rehab afterwards, but I know TNA knew that he was bog. He was absolutely bollocks before this. But Jeff said more chances than anyone else in the business to clear up. And never like, does. He's literally told us like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Sting's trying, bless him. He's doing every veteran move in the game. Nothing. They're milking the t-shirt spot. Yeah. This, well, at least he's not doing a fucking um, scorpion death drop onto a chair and hitting himself with it this time. <laughs> Sting always deserves better than some of the TNA nonsense God, he got. Yeah. Right. So we're locking up. Here we go. Pull him in. Pull him in. Okay, pull him in. Big kick by Sting. Those weird punches which I never understood. Drag him in. There you go, drag him in. And He's like, no, fucking backwards, dickhead. You are taking Death it, boost, down you go. And look, both legs, hold him down. Three. Jesus Christ. And Jeff's looking at him like, seriously? Walker. That means I've got to go, I've got to go rehab now. I only deal in facts, right? And I <laughs> lost that. It was bollocks. And the, the crowd were like, look at Sting. Oh, the crowd are fucking... They're the crowd are pissed. Well, yeah, they've, they've paid their $10. Well, some of them did. Yeah, some of them did. Most of comps. It's TNA. Jeff Hardy looks like he's actually annoyed, even though he's done a couple of bags of meth. This is bad. Allegedly. But yeah, this is bad. You can tell the... Um, this, you can tell this is all done on the fly, considering, I know, like, Taz and Mike Tanae just have no clue. Hmm... And doesn't he say I know because they call there's bullshit a, a bullshit chant and he says I agree yeah bless and Taz is trying yeah underrated Taz on commentary yes Sting must be think there we go <laughs> Sting must think what did I fucking put my face paint on yeah there's no point that you, know, like you know that was the point where Sting was just like, I'm just going to give up being a Christian. I need to drink off this. <laughs> I, need, I need to do a bit of something myself to fucking cheer myself up after that one. Yeah, that was not good. Thankfully, Jeff, well... Well, he's, you could say thankfully, but yeah. fuck, he's gone to rehab. Like He'd gone to rehab after this. He'd oh, gone yeah. to rehab when he went back to WWE. Like Since he's come back as of 2020 when he came back he, he claims that he thought he was going to there's not like a mini documentary on him like a 30 yeah. minutes kind of thing they must have always been in the black always been in the red with uh, Jeff the amount of times I sent to rehab but I, mean, I know I signed him. but the reason they keep signing him because he's a fucking merch machine yeah. like when they when they had Cena and Cena Mysterio at the same time and Punk like Jeff Hardy was outsold all of them and if yeah. you can out if you're out selling Cena you're making money yeah yeah there's something in it well, anyway, that was... Um, well, this was a bit of a cheating episode for yeah. Indie Sins, because I think it wasn't a fucking indie, but it was probably worse than an indie match. It is now. It, it is an indie, indie now, let's be honest. Yeah. Indie your TV, mind, but still... Uh, yeah, that wasn't good. Uh, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think he would be around for much longer after this match, Jeff Hardy. No. Obviously, he would have... I think after this is when he comes back and then may have teamed up with his brother, because we're still a while off from broken uh, the Broken Hardys. Yeah. Next week, join Haystacks. Oh God, don't don't tempt it. <laughs> right, until next time. I've been Stevie Pearson. I've been Elliot Redding. We'll see you at the matches. See you. Yeah.